Most people actually waste their best eight hours to build muscle. The sleep time. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight your body will either lose muscle or quietly, passively regrow it. And there's three nutrients which I will mention in that video and I will tell you how to take them, which can help you to regrow the muscle passively while you sleep. Today I will show you two powerhouses, minerals and one vitamin, which is absolutely underrated, proven by scientists scientific literature and I reveal what vitamin in the end is the most powerful of them all to actually regrow muscle. This is something you will not expect. First of all, let's talk about these two minerals before I go into that surprising vitamin. The first mineral is zinc. Maybe you heard about that, right? It's involved in hundreds of enzymes that drive protein synthesis and hormone production. In one human study, when young men had their zinc intake restricted actually for 20 weeks, their testosterone crashed by around 70% down. That is crazy. And when marginally deficient, older men actually took around 30 grams of zinc every single day for six months and their testosterone nearly doubled. Guys, I'm, I'm laughing because almost unbelievable. Like going from echo mode to sport mode to muscle growth mode with a simple supplementation of zinc, crazy. So for most people, 10 to 15 milligrams of zinc per day can be already enough from food, from supplements. Supplementing a little bit on top of that is proven to actually help. You don't really want to go above 40 milligrams a day for long term, short time, fine, but long term, no, without any medical supervision. Actually, great animal based sources are oyster, beef, lamb, dark turkey meat, and these kind of things, right? Nutrient number two, and I talked about it many times on the channel already, it's magnesium. Believe it or not, before we go into number three, the vitamin. It is important for relaxation, recovery. It's a great mineral. It helps you to sleep better and it helps your body to turn nutrients and it helps your body to actually or your muscles to turn food into ATP, release tension and actually rest at night better, helps you sleep better. I actually made a video which is popping up on top of the screen right now where I talk about the important role of magnesium and how to take it to improve your sleep. In a classic double brine trial, untrained adults did seven weeks of strength training, right? And in the magnesium group, the group which took magnesium, they ended uh, with about 20% higher leg strength than the placebo group, which didn't take any magnesium. 211 versus 174 newton meters per torque. So that is quite crazy. It improves your performance, which then, of course, leads to more muscle growth. And in another eight week trial in a May group of bodybuilders, 250 milligrams of magnesium oxide, which I don't prefer to take that, I prefer to take magnesium glycinate, magnesium cyanide trade but this was taken on training day significantly increased the chest and arm strength compared to the placebo group which didn't take that so a good daily range for most adults is usually three to four hundred milligrams i like to take it before sleep because it improves the sleep also and uh, then of course focus on your daily intake in dietary things which include salmon mackerel sardines meat and all of these things of course dairy products and um, yeah lamb and all of these things contain a lot of magnesium so now guys you really really earned it. The most powerful of them all is actually a vitamin. Actually, it's not really a vitamin. It's called vitamin, but it's a hormone. And this one will catch you by surprise. We are talking about, drum roll, vitamin D. This is crazy. Yes, it's important for your mood. It's important for your immune system, but it's also important for your muscle building. So as I already said, technically, this vitamin more behaves like a hormone. And I actually made a video on this channel. It's popping up on the screen right now where I'm telling you exactly how to take it and what to consider when taking vitamin D, right? But it is very important for your strength and protein synthesis. A very large 2011 and 2014 combination of analysis, so meta-analysis, looked at randomized control trials in older adults that took daily doses of just, and that is a low dose, 800 to 1000 IUs of vitamin D, and they produced a small but significant increase in their strength and better balance, especially in people who started out deficient in the first place. More recent trials were looking at 1000 to 2000 I use of vitamin D3 per day and still showed benefits in the groups. Also, I want to mention it's quite important to combine it with vitamin K2, magnesium, zinc for better absorption, but vitamin K2 is very important in combination with vitamin D. So you actually tell the calcium in your blood to go into the bones, right? I personally, and that is not a medical advice or anything, but just what I do personally, I take 10,000 I use per day with 
zinc with magnesium with vitamin k2 very important but you do whatever you think is right the expert opinions are recommending less than that. you will find vitamin d in fatty sources like salmon sardine egg yolks and of course fortified dairy and these kind of things and i am actually supplementing on top of that so with vitamin d it always makes sense to check your blood level see where you are at and after supplementing see where you are at after that because you don't want to go above a specific level which usually should not happen if you are doing the supplementation correctly and if you are taking vitamin k2 also a quick reality check none of these will actually slap five kilos of your muscle or something like it's not a super magic power but it is going to support you and it is going to help your muscle grow that is for sure and scientifically proven i leave you all the sources down below let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below make sure you're subscribing to the channel and you're watching this very important video about vitamin d as well thank you so much and as always as always bye bye